guys, I am Sankalpita and you are watching Book Geeks India, which is the channel where I make book related videos. If you like books, if you love reading, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos, turn that notification on and guys please do comment because you know it that I love it when you comment. In this video, I bring to you my reading wrap up. Now, because you know that I had been absent for quite some time, I did not do reading wrap ups for three months, which were April, May and June. So I thought why not do a combined wrap up video in which I tell you about the 22 books that I read in these three months. And because I have a really long list of books to talk to you about and time is not really on our side. So without any further ado, let's just get into the video. So you guys know the rules of my reading wrap up. I always love to talk about the books that I love the most at the beginning and then you know in the order of preference I rank them. So the best book comes first and the worst book comes last. And so the book number one that I'm going to be talking to you about is the best book that I read in the last three months. <laughs> One is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Now, Crazy Rich Asians, I don't have the copy to show you because I gave it to a friend. But yeah, I'll put the picture here. Now this is an absolutely fantastic read. It's the perfect combination of romance, of drama, of humor, comedy, and a lot of family and particularly Saspahu kind of drama. Basically, it's a story of these two people, Rachel and Nick. Uh, Rachel is a New York University professor and she's been dating Nick for two years now. Nick is a little serious about Rachel but Rachel doesn't know. Nick proposes Rachel to come to his home in Singapore and that's when the entire things change for both of them. And their love story is not about these two anymore. It is about a lot of people and a lot of things and a lot of factors. So I have done a detailed video about this book so you can check the description box below. I will put the link there. and. Uh, if there's only one thing that I would love to tell you, it is that you definitely have to read this book. The next book that I read is also an amazing read. Now, I read this book because I saw a movie on Netflix and the movie is called Bird Box. So, this is Bird Box by Josh Malaman. This is basically set in a dystopian world where there are a lot of creatures or something out there that the moment you look at it, it makes you suicidal. That you know you end up killing yourself and the only way to stay alive is to keep your eyes closed and you know become blindfolded so everything that you have to do outside the house it has to be done blindfolded and of course as you can imagine the world has gone haywire civilization is at an end and there's just total chaos so do read it because it's an absolutely amazing read i loved reading every bit of it and you can also watch the movie on netflix it is there so yeah the next book that I read was on my Kindle. This was a Kindle Unlimited read. So this book is called This Life or Next by Damien Vitanza. So this book tells us the story of this Pakistani Norwegian Muslim guy who, who somehow becomes enchanted by radical elements and he you know leans towards the radical side of Islam and that is how he ends up getting into Syria so this book is the story of this guy you know uh, right from his childhood and what kind of influences he had in his early life and the later life the part that he spent in Syria this book is actually presented as a novel as a fiction but at the end of the book the author tells us that he actually spent around 100 hours interviewing a guy who actually went to Syria and uh, you can see that this book is kind of inspired from the story of that guy. So we don't know how much of the book is true, but there is definitely some kind of truth in the book. The next book that I absolutely loved is this one, Prisoner of Yakutsk by Shreyas Bhave. So this book is uh, a book which was sent to me by the author for review and I loved reading it. The reason is that it is so well written. It's actually a kind of conspiracy theory fiction about the mysterious disappearance of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. The author talks about a lot of conspiracy theories that emerged after his death and explores one such conspiracy theory. There are a lot of characters and a different uh, set of timelines which are working in the story. So there is one set in you know contemporary 2015, another one in 1949, then in 1947 and it's really written very very well. So there is action, adventure, thrill and mystery that happens in this book and I would definitely recommend it to you guys. <laughs> 
The next book is a book that came out recently and this is Chetan Bhagat's India Positive. So this book talks to us about a lot of topics, you know, economy, uh, politics and uh, social factors. This book was also a kind of analysis of the elections that took place in 2019. This book was definitely a good read before the elections of 2019 because it gave you a lot of inputs about the elections, about the election results, about the predictions, not in a very strict sense but at a base or foundation level kind of sense. So it was a really good read at that time but now I'm not so sure. It, in the end, it definitely is a read that I enjoyed reading but um, as I told you, I cannot be sure about the timing of it now. So, uh, uh, the next book that I read and enjoyed is a young adult fiction. It's called Becoming Betty by Eleanor Wood. So this book tells us the story of Betty who like most YA characters is a little confused, a little unsure about her future. So she has a lot of um, you know personal issues, personal image issues and uh, she decides to change her schools because she thinks that she is too dependent on her friends for everything. In the blurb also it says to do list start college become cool join a band and makeover so this joining a band is a major part of this book so i loved the fact that this book had a lot of music and a lot of band dynamics and you know how to form a band what all happens in a band <laughs> The next book that I enjoyed a lot is this one, Divyastra by Nimish Tanna. Now this is a book uh, which I have already spoken about in a separate video. So I will put the link of the video down below and you can go and check that out. So this is basically a book which is a modern day mythological thriller. Now the premise of the book is that the ancient men knew how to access the weapons of God and those were powers which were passed down, you know, orally from generation to generation. In today's generation, there is a man called Guruji who has acquired all these powers, you know, to access the weapons of God. He uses these powers to influence a 13-year-old boy. And what happens next is for you to know. I think it's a really interesting concept and I enjoyed reading it. <laughs> The next book that I enjoyed reading is this one, The Corpse Bridge by Stephen Booth. So this is a book that I picked up from Darya Ganj in New Delhi and you won't believe the rate, the price that I got this book for. So it was only for 10 rupees that I bought this book and <laughs> that's a steal, right? So this is a book which is based in a very remote village uh, which is called Derbyshire and uh, there near the village outskirts is a bridge which is called the Corpse Bridge this one and in the ancient past this bridge was used to transport corpses to the burial grounds which now are a part of an earl's mansion so the people of this village have a lot of regard for this burial ground but now the earl of that place he wants to change the burial grounds and make it into an upbeat resort but people are not very happy and just about when he starts putting his plans into action there starts appearing corpses near the bridge, near the village, near the mansion of the Earl. And who is the culprit and why are these deaths happening? Is there a relation to Earl's plan or is it something else altogether? So this is the premise of the book. It's not exactly like, uh, you know, American thrillers or American mysteries. It's a little different. There's a lot more drama than I usually like. But in the end, it was a decent read. <laughs> The next book that I enjoy reading is this one, Vivian's Heavenly Ice Cream Shop by Abby Clemens. Now this is again a book that I picked up in Darya Ganj for just rupees 10. Wow, just rupees 10. So this is basically uh, again set in England in a place called Brighton. This ice cream shop is a place which is left to these two sisters, Anna and Imogen, by their dying grandmother. Now, both of them have different lives and different outlooks. One is a successful professional and the other one wants to travel the whole world and she's a roamer. She's a nomad. So it falls upon the shoulders of these two sisters to uh, run this ice cream parlor and that is the story of this book. I think it's a nice cozy little chiclet for chiclet lovers it's not exactly young adult but yeah it is a chiclet uh, uh, uh. the next book that i read is precious gems from hindu mythology by devi so this is a book which was also sent to me by the author for review and it talks about a lot of stories from our hindu mythology which we really don't know about so this includes local deities a lot of local temples and the story behind these temples so what i enjoyed in this book was that it sheds light on so many unknown tales of our mythology that it is just wonderful uh, uh, uh. the 
next book is Pushki's Train Adventure by Prashansa Main. Now, this is a book which is actually a children's read. It's essentially a picture book. And it tells us a very innocent and charming story about this young girl who goes on a train journey. And there she battles a few challenges that comes to her as a child. And uh, I think it's a really fantastic read. So if anybody knows a child between 6 to 8 to 9 years probably, it's a good book to, you know, give to them. The next book that I read is this one, Cheaters by Novanil Chakraborty. Now, I do enjoy Novanil Chakraborty's books once in a while. I don't read them voraciously, but I don't know. This book was such a disappointment. It was not as scandalous as it's, you know, shown to be and as it's written in the blurb. So, it's basically a collection of nine short stories about infidelity, about adultery, and... Uh, no, it's just mediocre. There was something amiss in this book and I'm thinking of making a separate video, but um, let's see when it comes. The next book that I read is this one, Tulsi Prasad Bandhopadhyay by Sudeep Satishan. Now, this is a book which I've already reviewed on my channel and uh, the link will be down below so you can go and check that out. Now, this is a book which is the story of this guy called Tulsi Prasad Bandhopadhyay or Bandhu who has Raj Yoga as in uh, he's just trying to become a politician and but before that before he becomes a politician he has to go through a lot of journeys and a lot of struggles a lot of challenges and this is the story of that <laughs> The next book that I read is a fantasy which I picked up on Kindle Unlimited. This book is called Kingdom Untold by a woman whose name is Karo Skibinska. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a book which is a fantasy which talks about a girl called Clementine who lives in a city and uh, when she's just going to see her mother, she meets a young man who seems very different, somebody who seems very out of place in the city landscape and city environment. Now, various circumstances and incidents make Clementine land in this kingdom, this unknown kingdom which has been hidden for centuries and where fairies are still alive and they're protecting the different worlds that exist. The author has tried to make two books out of a single book. So the first part felt incomplete in itself and that's the reason it kind of features a little low in my list. The next book that I read is a book called From Dusk to Dawn by Ritika Madan. This is a book that was sent to me by the author for review and it tells us the story of a child of a life that was tortured by molestation, child molestation basically. So how the tortures that were inflicted upon a young child resulted in scarring him for life is what this book is all about and I think it's a decent read. It is not written that well but the story itself is hauntingly brutal and uh, honest. <laughs> The next book that I read is a kind of popular book which is called Give Your Heart a Break by Anush Tiwari. Now when I picked up this book, I had a few expectations which didn't turn out the way I was actually expecting it to. So basically this is the story of marital discord and more than marital discord, it is a story about harassment and abuse, physical and uh, psychological, all kind of abuse that this girl has to go through. Now uh, there is this girl and she has a brother who is very strong willed and who is very protective of her sister and he would do everything to take care of her. Now uh, it says the book is inspired by a real story and that's the reason there is some kind of beauty in it but even then there is just something missing like overall the book is a little dull and it has a lot of philosophy i do enjoy philosophy it's not that i don't but an overdose is never good so that is the reason that i did not like this book that much and uh, the reason it features so low is probably because i had a lot of expectations from this book which it did not fulfill <laughs> The next book that I read is this one, Get the Grip on Your Life by Karthik Raj Raviraj. This is a really short read. It does have a lot of editing mistakes and that's the reason, again, it features very low on the list. But as you can see, the quality of the pages is just awesome. So this book is basically about self-help. It has small but very practical uh, suggestions and uh, advice for you to implement in your daily life. So you have things like this you have pages like this where you can monitor the progress that you are making against the uh, changes or the suggestions that the book suggests and uh, 
This is something which I really like because not every self-help book provides you with a section where you can monitor the changes uh, that are suggested. The next book that I read is this one, Greed, Lust, Addiction by Ravi Dabral. This is the story of an investigative journalist who suffers at the hands of the ugly nexus of businessmen, politicians and policemen. This book, though it says it's a mystery, it's not really a mystery because it is it has a lot of drama it also has a lot of philosophy something which i don't enjoy in my mysteries so yeah it was a okay read for me the next book that i read is this one what we think we become by durgesh satpati so this is a non-fiction again which has uh, some really good practical advice for you to implement in your daily life and uh, it tells you about the power of your mind of your uh, determination so basically it's a very short read that talks about a lot of things that will influence you that will change you for good and yeah it was a decent read the next three books are by the same author Anuj Tikku and these are Travelthon Tales, The Kumbh Travel Log and Antarctica Diaries so Anuj Tikku is a travel blogger who writes about his you know many adventures that he does many places that he travels to the antarctica diaries is about his journey into the antarctica and uh, how he went there what kind of experiences he had there what were the landscape that he had uh, the opportunity to view the penguins the wildlife all the things that he witnessed so that is something which i really liked about the book but the only thing that i did not like is the editing which was very poor and that's the only reason it features very low on my list <laughs> The next book is The Kumbh Travelogue by the same author, this travel blogger Anuj Tikku and he goes to the Kumbh, Ardh Kumbh which happened uh, in 2019, February and March and he spends a lot of time there and he reports about, he talks about his experiences there, the kind of people that he met, the kind of activities that he did. So it was again a good read but like I told you, there were a lot of editing mistakes and there were certain pictures in the book which were very repetitive. <laughs> The third book by Anuj Tikku uh, is also the last book that I read and it is called Travelthorn Tales. So this is basically not exactly uh, uh, Travelthorn Tales of his experiences but he writes about the places that he has been to and tries to weave uh, fictional stories around those places and in doing so he does really well because we do get a distinct flavour of the people and the places that he is talking about but what is lacking is again the editing. So guys, these were the 22 books that I read in April, May and June. So that's pretty much it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until the next video, which will be pretty, pretty, pretty soon. Bye.